hello and welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well congratulations for making it into the year 2023 and i wish you all a very happy and prosperous new year and i pray that your wishes this year will come true in today's video i will be showing you how to make an open front jacket with a double flay sleeves please watch till the end of the video for this jacket i used three and a half yards of ankara fabric i also have my lining and also my fabric interfacing i folded my front fabric into two and my back fabric into two and for the front i ruled a line i measured half inch and i ruled a line across that and from that half inch line i ruled that would be the center front so i'm ruling a line and this line will act as my shoulder line and also my start line from my shoulder to my chest line i have nine inches from my shoulder line to my chest line is 9 inches and from my shoulder to my bust point line is 10.5 from my shoulder to my waist is 16 inches and also from my shoulder to the hip line is 24 inches then i'm working with a length of the length of this jacket is 41 inches and a one and a half inch hemming allowance so i'll go ahead and measure to the length 41 inches and then from there i would add one and a half inches hemming allowance after noting these points i also ruled across them i, I ruled across these points so on the chest line i would take the shoulder slope and i would start my measurement to start after the half inch i left on the front fabric so i'll measure starting from the line after that half inch i measured out and i'll use the three inch eight inches for shoulder slope and from the eight inch point i came down by one inch and i ruled to the three inch point then on the chest line i will impute half of my shoulder measurement which is 8.5 i also imputed the same measurement on the chest line and ruled across it and on the chest line, I would impute quarter of my bust measurement plus half inch is. Quarter of my bust measurement is 9.5 plus half inch is will make it 10 inches. Then on my waistline, I would impute quarter of my waist measurement, which is 8 inches plus half inch is. That is 8.5. Then I will add extra one inch for that. I will be adding that to this jacket. So I will add 8.5, which is quarter of my waist measurement plus half inch is plus one inch for that, making it 9.5 inches. Then on the hip line, I would be impute 11.5 inches, quarter of my hip measurement is 11 plus half inch is making it 11.5 and then on the hem line i would impute what i have on my hip line on the hem line which is 11.5 inches so i'll impute 11.5 inches on my hem line then i added one inch seam allowance on the bust line the waist line the hip line on and on the hem line so i'll be sewing them joining them together using one inch seam allowance then i'm connecting from the bust chest line to the waist line and from the waist line i connected to the hip line and from the hip line straight down to the hem line So for the neckline for this jacket, I will use a neck width of 3.25 inches and a neck depth of 1 inch for the back neckline and then the front neckline, the neck depth is 3.5 inches while the neck width remains the same. I'm using a neck width of 3.25 inches for both front and back and a neck depth of one inch for the back and a neck depth of 
3.5 inches for the front neckline and i'm using my curve ruler to draw out the neckline for both the front and the back So I added, I also added half inch joining allowance on the shoulder for holding the two shoulders together. So for the armhole, I measured what I have from the shoulder slope to the chest line and from the, I found the middle and from the middle point I came in by half inch and I would draw my front armhole and for the back armhole from the middle point i did not come in i will just connect from the middle point to the chest line for the back armhole and for the dart i'm taking the bust pan i'm working with is eight inches so i'm taking half of that and i'm noting that on the chest line the waistline and on the hip line and i'm i rule the line across that from the chest line i came down by one inch and from the hip line i came down i came up by two inches and then i took a dart of half inch on both line of the line of half of the bust span measurement and i joined that that together for my back dart so i would recheck my measurements and make sure i have the correct measurements and then i will cut out my fabric while cutting i'll cut only the back neckline and also for the armhole i'll only cut the back armhole since the front and the back fabric are together then when i remove the back i'll then cut the armhole and the neckline for the front so i've cut out i would remove my back uh, fabric and then redraw the neckline for the front and also redraw the armhole for the front then i would cut out the neckline for the front and the armhole for the front for the front that for the that at the front i would indicate the line on for my boss points line i would extend that line the bust point line which is 10.5 inches also the waistline and the hip line i will extend them as you see me do then from the half inch i would measure four inches on these points and join them together then from the bust point i'll come down by one inch and from the hip line i'll come up by two inches then on the the waistline i'll take half inches on both sides of the bust pan line and i'll join them together for the front that and that will be the dart for the front part of the jacket so i'll also split open the the center front because the the front part of the jacket is going to be open so i'll split open the front part i will use the main fabric to cut out the lining but the lining will be um, about two and a half inches shorter than the main fabric. I'll also iron interfacing on both fabric and lining. The sleeves for this jacket have the two parts, the straight part and the flay part. And for the straight part, I'm using a length of 13 inches plus one inch seam allowance. And I'm using a cap height of four inches. The round sleeve opening for the sleeve is 12 inches so on fold i will have six inches and i'm using a size seam allowance of one inch and please i have a detailed video on how to cut a sleeve what all i'm saying if you do not understand it i would be dropping a link where i i explained very well on how to cut a basic short sleeve because what i'm doing here is to cut out a basic short sleeve where i'll be attaching the flay to the flay that will be on the jacket, I'll be attaching it to the opening of this sleeve I'm cutting now. I'll also use this sleeve to cut out the lining exactly the same way I cut out the main fabric. For the flay part of the sleeve, I'll cut it in form of a full circle. I'll be cutting a 360 degrees um, flay. And for the length of the longer um, flay, I have 7 inches plus 1 inch, making it 
7.5 inches. This is because the total length of the sleeve is 20 inches. So I, I subtracted 13 inches from 20 inches to have 7 inches. For the radius of the play, I divided my round sleeve opening, which is 12 inches by 6.28 inches. And that gave me about 1.901 inches, which I approximated to 2 inches. So 2 inches plus the 7.5 inches for the length is um, 9.5 inches. So I would mark 9.5 inches all round. And for the radius, for the opening of the sleeve, I will take 1.5 inches and then use half inch to join the play part to the main sleeve. So I will be taking 1.5 inches instead of 2 inches and I will cut out my play. I will be cutting the play for the two sleeves together. So I will place the play, I will fold the fabric for the second play underneath the one i've marked out and cut out the two at the same time and also for the second flay because i would be ha adding uh, a double flay to the sleeves and the second flay will be shorter than the first flay by two inches that is i would be cutting the same opening for the second flay but the length of the second flay will be two inches shorter than that of the first flay So I also cut out the second flay and the length of the second flay will be 5.5 inches plus that the 2 inches for the radius which will make it 7.5 inches. I will also use the fabric, uh, the, the fabric for both the first flay, the longer flay and the shorter flay to cut out their respective linings. And I will iron the fabric interfacing on both the lining and the fabric um, for the flay. So I've joined my fabric, the front and the back together on the shoulder using half inch seam allowance and I ironed the seam open and I've sewn the darts on both the front and the back and I did same for the lining. What I did on the main fabric, I did on the lining. Only that on the lining I did not iron uh, interfacing as I planned to because I did not have enough. But I did the same thing, the lining I sewed in my dad and also join on the shoulder so the next thing i will do will be to use the lining piece to turn the neckline of the main piece i've pinned them together right sides facing each other and making sure that the seam at the shoulder for the main fabric and lining match together and i'll join using half inch seam allowance and then i'll top stitch on the lining parts so i have turned the neckline and I also top stitch as I earlier said on the lining piece I top stitch on the lining side after turning I notched and top stitched so the next thing I will do will be to join the main fabric by the side I will join the main fabric separate by the side and also the lining separate by the side so I'll measure the one inch size seam allowance I left I'll measure it on both sides and pin my fabric together and join starting from the chest line down to the hemline and I'll do the same for the uh, for the lining piece so I'll pin my fabric fabric to fabric the front side to the back side I'll pin and then I'll sew on the one inch seam allowance I left I'll sew the two sides together and I'll also do the same thing on the lining piece I'll sew the lining piece together using one inch seam allowance So after joining on the side seams, I ironed the seam open and this is what I have. I've ironed the seams. I just made both the lining on the lining and on the main fabric. I ironed them open. So what I will do next will now be to use the lining piece to turn the hem side, the hem part of the main fabric. So I'll join them in a way that the right sides will face each other and I'll arrange it in a manner that they are all equal on the hem side both the lining piece and the 
the main piece they are equal as you see me do i would align them arrange them very well and make sure that the sides the seam side on the main fabric is matching with the seam side on the lining and um, fabric then i will pin them together and sew them using half inch seam allowance after sewing on the hem side i will then sew the open part the front part which is still open i will now sew them together i would arrange them so that the front part the the neckline matches from the neckline down i'll arrange them in a way that they will match right sides facing each other then i'll sew using half inch seam allowance so after turning the hem sides and closing the front side, all the parts will be closed and then I will have to bring the fabric out from the armhole side which is still open. I will bring it out and show you what I have. So this is the jacket without the sleeves attached. This is what I have. I would iron it properly. I will iron it properly and then I will attach my sleeve to the jacket. So I've also I've also gone ahead to turn um, the flay parts, the bigger and the smaller flays. I've turned them the circle I made. I cut that will be attaching to the sleeves. I've turned them and I've ironed them properly. And then I would also close the basic sleeve by the side using one inch seam allowance. I'll close the main fabric separate and the lining separately. So the next thing will now be to attach the sleeves to the jacket and first of all I will attach the basic sleeve to the jacket and after attaching that I will then attach the, the circle part, the peplum part to the sleeve as you see me do I would arrange it and then attach it. I will first join the peplum together and then attach it to the sleeves. So I would show you how I join the sleeves. I join them in a way that the seams are inside and hidden and I will be showing you on the other sleeve how I did that. So what I did was to join as I said before join the seams separately for the sleeves the, the, the sleeve and the lining and then I'll attach the main sleeve to the fabric, the main fabric of the jacket. I will turn the sleeve to the right side, the way we normally join sleeves, and I'll turn my fabric to the right side and I'll place, I'll make sure that the same sides are matching each other as you see me demonstrate. I'll match them together, the seam of the main fabric and the seam of the main um, of the main sleeve. I would match them together and I'll pin all round. I'll pin all round. I'll pin round the sleeve round on the main fabric and then I'll sew them together using half inch seam allowance. I'll take my time and pin properly and make sure that the sleeve matches very well before I sew together using half inch seam allowance. so after joining them together after sewing together i would turn it outside and let the lining part be inside that's the right side of the lining will be inside then i'll do the same thing the, the same way i sewed the the main fabric to the sleeve to the main fabric i'll also be sewing the lining um sleeve to the lining um fabric so I've turned the lining inside. So the right side of the lining is now inside and also I've turned the sleeve to, to the right side and I would attach as well. The same thing I did when sewing the main fabric. I would make sure that the same sides align and I'll pin together and sew together. After sewing, I will then bring out my fabric from the sleeve. I'll just choose one part of the sleeve and then turn out, bring out everything I've sewn together. I'll bring out everything. But before doing this, I'll make sure that all my measurements are correct because after joining the flay part of the sleeve, it will not be possible to adjust um, any measurements again. And if you, if you must adjust anything, that means you have to loosen the flay part of the sleeve to turn the fabric and adjust. So that's what I'm doing. I'm bringing out my, my fabric. I'm turning the jacket to the right side from one sleeve. 
after bringing out everything to the right side, I would iron properly and then attach the flay part of the sleeve to the sleeves. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this video and subscribe if you have not subscribed to my channel. Also click on the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. Share with your friends and also leave your comments in the comments section. And that's it on today's tutorial on how to make a jacket with double flay sleeves. Please, please, and please, if you have not subscribed, please click on that subscribe button and also click on the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. I really, really hope you enjoyed watching today's video. And if you did, please click the like button and give me a thumbs up until my next video. Bye.